Next up, we have CRM analytics. Now, this is something which is, I would say, an extended version of uh, uh, Tableau Embedded Analytics. So basically what happened was, we would be seeing in uh, next slides, uh, so Salesforce had a wave which they were using for their reporting and analytics purposes. So their Salesforce report works good, but it does not work. Uh, this wave started in 2012, right? Yeah, it was in 2013 and reports were good, but reports had certain limitations, you know. It is not good. Yeah. yeah. So we will be, uh, we have kind of, uh, they had this tool wave and then uh, they added on certain more things to it. Then they got to Einstein analytics and then Einstein, Einstein sorry, my bad, Einstein analytics. And after that, we have Tableau CRM. When they were at Einstein analytics phase, they realized we need certain uh, good platform and they acquired Tableau in 2019. When they kind of acquired it, they added its capability into Salesforce itself only. So added all of those capabilities natively into Salesforce and we have CRM analytics, which was earlier uh, known as Tableau CRM. In CRM analytics, you have the complete capability of kind of, you know, uh, creating your own data set, creating your own recipe and uh, adding in your, uh, you know, predictive analysis, creating your, uh, uh, creating your visualization, adding them to a dashboard and then activating on top of it. So CRM analytics has everything which we talked about in the Tableau itself only. The Tableau desktop part, the Tableau prep part, have it inside it in the CRM analytics itself only. So CRM analytics uses SAQL and uh, Tableau uses VizQL. So they have a different kind of, you know, internal uh, mechanics as well of how they function. So CRM analytics give us the intelligent apps out of the box. So pre-built AI uh, analytics and uh, AI directly embedded into various clouds. So like we have for loyalty, we have for manufacturing, financial services. They have certain, uh, I would say, visualization templates that we can use, certain AI-driven uh, uh, predictive analysis that we can use in our own application. Then we have industry apps, uh, which is our, again, uh, empowered for the industries. We have action framework. Action framework allows us to do certain things, send email, uh, update a record, send trigger, uh, send uh, an email or uh, call a trigger or activate a flow. We can do that. Then we have data platform. So data platform is basically the something kind of data prep side of things where you kind of get the data, ETL kind of things you are doing. So it has certain connectors as well. Not only you are limited to Salesforce, you have certain other connectors as well to which we can rely on. After that, we have security and user management. In security and user management, what you get is, uh, as the name suggests, you have the security of Salesforce itself only and then the user management, you can control who has access to what and uh, you could control that and that would definitely be an added benefit for your business. The next slide is showcasing uh, what I explained exactly earlier. Exactly what you explained. The evolution. So I will not be going into that. Next.